Hi everyone, today we're showing you how you can configure Adobe Build Pro with Theme Genie 8 like this demo here. As a quick disclaimer, I'd like to mention that we do provide complimentary installation once per license. This is a recommended service as it ensures that the products are installed correctly. However, if you'd like to configure Adobe Peel Pro yourself, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. So of course, the first step would be to actually install Adobe Peel Pro and Theme 28 on your website. Those downloadables should be available to you on Realtina's My Account section. If you're unfamiliar with the way the My Account section works, then we do have a video going over that. So once you're on your WordPress dashboard, you can go to Plugins, select Add New, upload a plugin, and drop the zip file here. Once you selected the plugin file, just go ahead and install now. The next step after this is just to activate the plugin, and then we can get into the configuration steps. So our first tip is adding this carousel widget here. The carousel widget is best for displaying the featured listings up front. You can find this widget by going to Appearance, Widgets, Delpeel Carousel. You drag it into the carousel position and whatever filter you need to apply to the properties, then you can do so from here. You can select Only Featured and Save. Our next step is adding the search bar to the front end of the site. This is also a widget you can find in Appearance Widgets. It's called Duckpool Search. You should add it to the property listing top. So I'm not going to go into the details of this search widget. However, we do have a video that does show you how to configure it to your needs. It's called How to Add Search Widget and Search Options. So for the next step, we're revisiting the carousel widget. This carousel widget is placed in the top footer rows. In order to display it like the one that's in the demo, you have to change the layout to multi-images. For the best results, change the image width to 360, image height to 230. Just don't forget to save your configurations. So after we're done with the featured listings, we have the new feature section. This is based on the text widget and the HTML text in order to display it in this manner is available on the Double Peel Theme 2D8 configuration tips article. Just scroll all the way down, you should find it attached in a text file. Click on that, open it up, and there are a couple of um, sections here. We're going to focus on the first one, which is the new features. Just copy this text. It should say new features in top footer rows position. Find the text widget, add it to the top footer rows. Add widget. I'll type it in here in new features. Select text, paste it here, and save. The next thing we can do is add the featured agent. Featured agent is in the agents widget that you should add to the top footer rows. There isn't really much to configure here, so just go ahead and finalize that. The next part we should add is the R Partner section, which is also a text widget that you have to add to the top footer rows. Just add the widget, enter a title, our partners, go to text and open up the text file that you downloaded from the article. I do recommend doing the following, just remove the spacing here, like this. In order to get the formatting right, so just paste that, save, and that is done. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the top footer position. This is where you can add the about us section, useful links, and any kind of contact information. So just go back to widgets. The first about us section is just a regular text widget. Just add it to top footer. 
enter the title. And I'm just gonna input this dem dummy text. After the About Us section, we'll grab the navigation menu widget, add it to the top footer, and select your custom menu. And for the final addition to the top footer, it's just another text widget. Just go ahead, add that. So it could be like contact information or get in touch with us. Switch to text rather than visual and get the get in touch with us in the top footer, HTML text. So paste that here. So you're able to change the address. So you already have the format here. You can change the address, um, enter a new phone number, a new uh, email address. If needed, you can take this, copy that in order to kind of maybe change it to like telephone or something. I'm just going to go ahead and stick to the default. So just save that. And that's done. So in order to generate the listing results, this is not a widget. So we're going to have to go to pages, select a page where we want to implement uh, the search results on. And uh, you should select visual and you're going to find the WL short code icon. And this is what will generate the short code. So property listing is the correct one for this case. Um, you have filter options if needed, but because I'm implementing this in the home page, I'd like to generate all of the listings I have. Then um, we're going to set the columns count to three or maybe four, whatever is suitable. I'm going to go with three. So just insert that and that's all just update the page. So the final widget we want to implement is this favorites widget on the side. I'll just go back to widgets. Select so WPL favorites and add it to the left slide. Done. In order to change the branding of the website, you can do that in WPL 28 settings under appearance. This is where you're able to implement your logo, any kind of font, colors, even layouts, header, and footer options. So now let's talk about configuring the property details page. In order to do this, we go to WPL settings, select activity manager. The first thing we're going to change is in listing gallery, it should be ID3 listing gallery, P show, edit this. And for the layout, select P show modern. For these listing links, we select listing links, P show position two. And we select the listing links we want to show. So for example, I'll just keep report listing, favorite, and just Facebook like that. So as extras, we can configure the agent info, which is ID seven. We can implement the property rooms using this one. The contact agent that's on the property details page is ID 23, P show position 2. To implement the energy tag and walk score, just enable these, like so. And in order to implement the contact form on an individual listings agent page, it's going to be user contact profile show position one. You have to enable this. 